Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a handbag collection video and I have so many handbags that I think I have to split this into two parts and this is just gonna be part one and I'm just gonna say this right now if you guys want to see a part two like this video because then I know to do a part two and I really want to do a part two I really want to show you guys the second half of my collection so if you want to see that just like it down below so yeah these handbags I have acquired over the years um, I might I can mention when I got them but yeah these are just kind of my collection and I hope you guys enjoy I'm just gonna start with the first and a pretty simple bag this bag is my Vera Bradley like crossbody and I don't use this bag very often actually I really never use it just because it's so small and it just opens like this it has a little snap there and then it opens and the inside it's kind of be hard to see it but it just kind of looks like this it's got the same pattern on the inside and honestly I can just kind of reverse it like this but yes there's the little tag but I this handbag I think would be really nice for going out and stuff but I don't go out that often so I don't really use this I don't really have a use for it but this is just the first bag. This is the Avira Bradley crossbody. I'm not sure what the pattern is called, but yeah, it's just Avira Bradley crossbody. The next bag that I'm going to show you guys is my first Juicy Couture bag, and my only one actually. It says Juicy Couture right there, and this is a super cute bag. Um, it says from Juicy with Love. But I don't really use this bag anymore because I'm 18 and I think it's more of kind of like a more teen, like younger teen bag. I got this for Christmas a couple years ago and I used it all the time because it was black. So I really loved the black and then it has blue and then it has pink in the inside. So I really did love this bag but I just haven't been using it recently. Just because I've got some other ones that have been my new favorites. But this is just what this one looks like. And in the inside it's really nice because it has two pockets. And I would put my cell phone in there and then it has one big pocket on the other side. And then it has the tag on the inside. So this is the second bag that I'm going to show you guys. And also it has a little zip right here. If you're too lazy, maybe you can just throw your phone in there or something. That's what I did sometimes. But yeah, here's the juicy bag. Oops. I just completely knocked that over. Oh well. Okay. And my next bag that I have to show you guys is a pink coach bag. And my dad actually bought this for me at our local coach store. And it is just pink. This is a cute summer bag, I think. And it has two pockets right there, and then it has one right in here. And yeah, I think it, it's a pretty spacious bag. Um, it's really good just to kind of throw some, some things in to go shopping or something like that. So I really like it. I like the pink because I love the color pink. But it's got the little tags on there. So yeah, this is my pink coach bag. And then the next bag that I'm going to show you guys is probably one of my favorite bags next to my Louis Vuitton, but it is my Marc Jacobs bag. And I, oh, this bag has been my best friend in the summer. It is super, I just love it so much. So this is what it looks like. It has the zipper that says Marc by Marc Jacobs, and it is huge. This bag is ginormous. It can fit so many things. It has one compartment here one compartment here and then one compartment here and it's just huge and it's got pockets in this one here there's one here and then one here and then going over right here it just says mark by mark jacobs right there and then it has another pocket right there so i really like the color of this handbag um i think i'm going to actually re-dye it soon because it's so 
it's like not falling apart but since I wear like my denim the denim has rubbed off on this bag which makes me really really sad because I, I love this bag and I don't know I have never dyed any of my bags before so if you guys have any suggestions on how to dye a handbag like where to take it or if you can send it to some company please comment but down below because I actually have another bag that I'm going to show you that I want to dye so I would like to remain like a cream color I don't want to dye this one black I like the color that it is right now I mean I could go maybe a little darker cream but I overall really like the color of this one and also it has two front pockets right up here so yes this is one of my babies so I have that one and then the next bag I have is a Cole Haan crossbody it's like a messenger bag and it is huge like it can fit so much stuff in here and I just like how spacious it is and once again I can't obviously dye this one but this one from my jeans has become pretty um love too as far as the denim washing on there but anyways it has a pocket back there to just throw some stuff in and then the front just has two buckles there and then it says Cole Haan on the front and you just open it up and it just looks like this on the inside which is so hard to see I'm so sorry um, it just has like a, I think it's almost like a business, um, holders and stuff because you can put, put some pens and then your pockets and stuff right here. And then on the inside, it just has its Kohan logo. And then if I just pull it out, it just kind of like a military green. So I use this one. Well, now I have my Louis Vuitton, so I don't use this one as often, but if I just want to like throw wide like books or something in here this is a great bag for that so I love that bag and the next bag that I have to show you guys is a fossil purse and I love this purse for fall I think it's super cute and it's like a velvet and it's super spacious as you can tell I literally love big bags I'm so tall I think I can pull them off pretty well so I really like that I have like so many big bags. I can't buy small bags because this Vera bag, I literally like, I don't fit. The, I, my wallet's bigger than this. It would, my wallet wouldn't even fit in there. So that's kind of the downside of it. But I love big bags. So I buy big bags. But anyways, I have this fossil one and I love the color on the inside because this color is... This is probably one of my favorite colors. I've mentioned before my favorite color is Tiffany Blue, but I, li I really like this like pretty lavender pink color. So I think this is really pretty. And once again, this one's really, really big. It has a pocket right here. Um, and then it has several pockets on this side to put stuff in. So yes, this is a really cute bag. And then it has actually more pockets on the outside right there and then on the other side. And then it has just this little flap right here. There's nothing in there, but it's... Yeah, so then this is the fossil bag. So I really, really like that one. And then the next bag that I have is my only Kate Spade bag, actually. And this is going to be really sad because this is the other one that I have to dye. So I bought these um, AG jeans, the Adriano Goldschmied jeans, and they were in a dark blue cargo color, kind of like my scarf. And so I bought those and they were too small so I have to return them. I still have them upstairs. But anyways, I had them and I set them on this bag and I didn't realize that like this dark would just like seep into whatever it was set on top of. So as you guys can see, this completely destroyed this bag and I almost cried like I was so sad. So it dominated my Kate Spade bag. But anyways, this is the bag. It just said... Kate Spade New York on it and I have to dye it anyways because there's like a pen mark back there and it's just it's it's not that bad but I was didn't want to dye it but now I, I have to so this is what it looks like it just has some brown and gold detail up there and yeah if we just open it up it's super cute um it's got brown it's brown on the inside with like gold polka dots so this is what the inside looks like. I 
actually I think I can just pull it out for you that's what the inside lining looks like just like this and it kind of buttons weird I don't not a fan of how it buttons really but I mean I'll show you I have this flap and then I have this flap and they overlap like this to fold so it kind of sits weird but it kind of makes sense so this is what the bottom looks like but yeah once again I'm literally sick about doing that to this bag but I guess I'll have to get over it so this is my Kate Spade bag and the last bag for this video is a Michael Kors metallic gold colored purse and this bag I really like for winter because I think it's super cute to just kind of like a statement piece and it's got the little MK right there and it says it around the buttons up there too but I love this color I think it's so pretty and it's just very simple too without being too flashy which is a really nice touch actually and the inside oh you can see yes it is falling apart right there but I mean it's looks great on the outside just the insides kind of falling apart so yeah the inside is just metallic -y once again and right here it says Michael Mike Michael Michael Kors and then yeah the pocket is right here just to throw stuff in and then on the other side where it's falling apart there's another pocket to put stuff in other than that you just kind of throw stuff in there so this is what this bag looks like oh yeah and then it just snaps right there so this is this bag I really like this one for winter so that is all my handbags that I have for part one if you guys want to see part two like this video or comment down below um I really would love to do it for you guys and I hope you enjoyed this video and once again if you know any place that dyes handbags please comment down below I have a couple local places that I know do it but I mean I would like to have several options so yeah if you guys have any place that you know please comment and I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys are having a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye.